Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the 2009 AP Calculus free response question. So here's number five. Let f be a function that is twice differentiable for all real numbers. The table gives values of f for the selected points in the closed intervals 2 to 13. Estimate the derivative at 4 and show the work leads your answer. Well, the derivative here is probably the slope of the secant line. Um, I don't know. Oops. Let's change the color back to blue. I only use red when I'm doing it wrong. Uh, f of 5 minus f of 2 over 5 minus 2. I don't know what they're exactly. I always, I always don't like exactly how you're supposed to approximate these. Oh, 4 is here, so i got to do 5 and 3. I don't know what I'm thinking. 5 and 3, these two. Uh, that's negative 2 minus 4. Uh, those are the y values over 5 minus 3. That's negative 6 over 2. It's negative 3. Okay. Evaluate this integral and show the work that leads to your answer. Oh, the integral 2 to 13, 3 minus 5 f prime of x. It's interesting how the problems change over the years. That's from 2 to 13. 3 dx minus 5 integral 2 to 13 f prime of x dx. But by fundamental theorem of calculus, well, so this one's easy. This is 3 times x times 11, or 3 times, so this is 33, minus 5 times f of 13 minus f of 2. f of 13, this is 6. f of 2 is 1. This is 33 minus 5 times 5, 33 minus 25, and that's equal to 8. Okay. If you didn't, like this one is not too hard. This is 3x, and I evaluated from 2 to 13. So this is 3 times 13 minus 2 is 11, 3 times 11. That's how I got the 33 right there. Okay, suppose f prime of 5 equals 3 and f double prime of x equals less than 0 for all x in the closed interval between 5 and 8. Use the tangent line of the graph of x equals 5 to show that f7 is less than or equal to 4. Use secant line for the graph to show... Oh, let's do this first part. Use the tangent line of the graph of x equals 5 to show that f of 7 is less than or equal to 4. Okay, so we know that... Let's do the tangent line at x equals 5. I would need a point. y would equal this m x minus x naught plus y naught. This is the slope point form. I know the slope at 5, that's 3. They told us it was x equals 5, so it's x minus 5. Plus, the value at 3 is 4, so plus 4 there. So that's, that's that. And so f prime, or f of 7, is approximately equal to, if I, if I plug in 7 into this line, I get 3 times 7 minus 5 plus 4, and that's 3 times 2, it's 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. Oh, this is supposed to be not 4, minus 2. I was going to say minus 2, 6, that's equal to 4. Okay, so my, my tangent line approximation, but but this thing is, is, is increasing and it's concave down, so it looks kind of like this. So what's happening is, if I use the tangent line here, I'm really approximating the value. Like if this is x equals 5, and I use the tangent line, well, x equals 7 is this. But this is concave down because the second derivative is negative. So this is an overestimate. This is an overestimate of f of 7. So that implies f of 7 is less than or equal to 4, right? Because our estimate is to say f of 7 is 4 by the tangent line. Now use the secant line for the graph to show that f of 7 is greater than or equal to 4 thirds. So now we, we want to use a secant line slope to say, well, the graph. So from 5 to 8, the slope of the secant line is, let's see, f of 8 minus f of 5 over 8 minus 5. That's 3 minus negative 2 divided by 3 
that's five thirds. My, my f of 7 is greater than or equal to 4 thirds. I get 5 thirds there. I want to show that f of 7 is greater than 4 thirds. Use the secant line. That's an interesting question. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what they're asking for that one. Use the secant line, the graph of f, to show that f of 7 is greater than or equal to 4 thirds. There's nothing, I mean, f of 7. Seven's between here and here. Okay, I understand that. All I know is it's between negative 2 and 3. Why would the secant line, is that the average value? They're saying 5 thirds over 5 is 1 third. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I would prove that one. I'm not sure. Let's just check our answers. Negative 3, 8, and 18. 3, 8. Well, what is this? Oh, I, I missed this complete problem. Use the subintervals to approximate that integral. Oh man, I I didn't even I didn't even, I even see that part. I just jumped to D. Okay. So uh, sub intervals, I'm gonna use. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna use the left values here. So let me let me do that here. On um, the left values, well, this interval is one, so it's three minus two. I use the left point, so that's times 1 plus 5 minus 3 times 4 plus 8 minus 5 times negative 2 plus 13 minus 8 times 3. That's 1 plus 8. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Then 15. 15, 16, 10, 18, 18. Okay, should be doing that in red because I got it wrong. All right, the equation of tangent line, therefore, do, 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 we did that one. The equation for the secant line. Oh, I see what they wanted. They wanted you to, oh, okay. I see, they wanted you to plot this line and show that when I plugged in seven, I'm below like this this value would be between those two they're trying to squeeze it between these two that's interesting i should have graphed out what the secant line was and realized that they wanted me to show us above here oh, that's a tricky question that's a pretty good question i like that um anyways i hope you guys found that helpful even though i skipped over a complete problem and didn't know how to do one part or couldn't think of it on the spot um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.